Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install VS Code on your Kali Linux. If you are using desktop, then follow this video as well. And if you are using Android, then you can stay tuned. Okay, so if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on your Android phone, so I already made a video on that topic so you can watch and install first. Otherwise, you will not able to install VS Code on your Android system. Okay. So for that you can go to my channel which is Mahesh Technicals. Okay, here you will find two videos. First one is install Kali Linux on your Android system without root, and second one is how you can show your internal storage into your Kali Linux machine. So watch that both videos; it will helpful for you. Okay, so watch this first if you not installed yet. So first install Kali Linux, then. we will install vs code on your system so let's start how you can install vs code on your system for that just open your chrome browser or any other browser and type here vs code mahesh technicals then search it here you will find one article which is on my website so just open this article here you will get all required things you can see this is my article remember this image so let's install vs code on our system for that you need to follow some steps and commands to install that so first of all you need to copy this command which is update and upgrade it will update and upgrade your packages from your kali linux okay so just paste this command if you are using pc which have kali linux installed so you can open terminal emulator and paste this command okay guys follow this guide with your terminal emulator as well so it will take some time according to your internet speed so wait until it's complete okay so update and upgrade process is done now we need to install wget package so just copy this command and paste in the terminal done guys so wget package is also installed now we need to download vs code installer file so for that just copy this command and paste into your terminal it will download vs code downloader in your system so just paste and enter you can see type ls and you will see vs code file is present here you can see i already did that that's why vs code dot one also present but if you copy paste this command you will get vs code file we need to run this file to run that you need to use this command bash vs code it will run this file and it will start installing vs code on your system it will take some time because vs code file is around 350 mb so it will download first then start installing you don't need to worry it will do everything automatically so wait until the process complete okay guys so process is done and successfully we install vs code so just open and see where our vs code is present or not so just i am going to search here vs 
and you can see you will find vs visual studio code here okay so just add this into your desktop so right click and add to desktop so this app now on your desktop but when you double click on that you will not see anything it means our vs code is right now not opening so we need to fix that issue okay so you will also face this issue so for that you need to follow my guide here okay scroll down here and you will find this command it will open vs code configuration file we need to edit and modify something so just paste this command and press enter and you can see the file editor is open then click on pg down and scroll down and use arrows to navigate here okay here see this properly here you need to navigate then click on space give a, give a space then type dash dash no dash sandbox type carefully otherwise uh, your vs code will not open okay see this you need to write like this then scroll up and one more modification you need to do for that use arrows keys to navigate you need to find if root ensure line okay so let's see where it is okay so you can see here this line okay if root ensure okay you can see this line from here you need to comment out some lines it means you can hide some lines from executing your vs code okay so it will automatically run so for that you need to follow these steps move down and use hash to comment lines okay not all guys just where i stop you need to stop there okay so you can see you need to perform this task here to here okay guys here to here here to here okay don't put hashtags in all lines otherwise your vs code will crash after that just control o enter control x it will save your file okay and your problem will fix if you not able to understand so i already provided screenshot here which lines you need to modify so just watch this and do the same now let's try to open in graphical interface we still not going to open not able to open but if we use terminal emulator then type here code and enter just type code and enter it will open your vs code editor but still we are not going to uh, still we are not getting why our graphical interface will not work so let's fix this now click on right click on this icon then click on edit launcher then here you will find command command box so right click select all then type here code and code right then click on save button that's it now your vs code will open on double click okay 
then click on mark executable and that's it your vs code not opening issue is fixed now you can open with terminal as well as using icons but we have one more issue which is browser not opening automatically so you need to fix that as well if you are using live server extension so you will not able to open your browser automatically for that let me add some projects here so i have a project which is a calculator which i created using html javascript and css let me add this project first so you can see i am selecting my internal storage project if you don't see your internal storage i already made a video where you can configure your internal storage on your kali linux okay so my project project is loaded let me add extension here go to extension tab and search live so you will find live server extension just click on install it will take some time to install so just wait okay extension is installed successfully so let me show you how you can open your project using live extension live server extension right click on it and click on go open with live server so you can see nothing will help happen and no no, no browser op not op not opening any browser here okay so we need to fix that issue we need when we click on open with live server our browser will open automatically with our output project for that just go to extension tab again go to live server again click on setting icon then click on extension settings and here you will find one option which is custom browser you can see here you will find null selected null here so just click on it and select your favorite browser which is installed on your system so i have firefox so i'm going to select firefox don't need to save here it will automatically save after that just open your project again with live server and your project will open in your browser automatically your browser not opening issue as well, fixed as well let me show you index.html right click on it and go open with live server click on it then wait here and you will see my project is loaded successfully in my browser this is my project which is a calculator i made using html css and javascript you can see my code as well you if you want this code you can follow me on a github page there you will find my calculator project okay you can see this is my design and this is my code so this is this is not a topic our topic is browser not opening so it is fixed now so with this method you can install vs code on your kali linux and uh, fix vs code not opening issue and fix browser not opening issue as well so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and we will meet in the next video so bye